Hello, how are you today? I hope you are happy and fine. Well, this is third year today. Today is Wednesday. Bye bye June. Hello July. Yes, and it's a cloudy and cold day. Yes, today we're going to check pages from the activity book 52, 53, 54, and 55. We are going to um, work with vocabulary, jobs, yes, adverbs, make and do. I'm, I'm going to show you and teach you how to write a CV, a curriculum vitae. Yes, un curriculum van a aprender a escribir hoy. Atención, mucha atención. Su hijo tendrá revisión de la unidad 7, sí, la clase que viene. Yes, okay, is it clear? Well, all right. Yes, all right, all right, all right. Yes, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Monday, Monday, Monday. Wait a minute, I'm checking the six. Yes, okay. Six and six del siete. Okay, is it clear? Make and do, we are going to work with that. Yes, okay. Páginas que, tienen, que hacemos a la, a la par de la video clase, del class book. Yes, okay. These are pages from the class book. Yes, okay. And then you have activity book pages plus writing, escribir un CV, un curriculum vitae, tu curriculum vitae. Yes, vas a ver la guía en la página 89 del Classbook, más la guía que estoy explicando ahora, con, la, con tu nombre, PDF, ¿sí? las dos fechas marcadas, ¿sí? fecha de pedida y fecha de entrega. Yes, all right. Shall we go to uh, page 52? Yes, present perfect. Yes, past simple. Yes, okay. How to form the past, subject plus verb, regular and irregular. I cooked a cake, you uh, jumped a wall, Yes, okay. You drank mate yesterday. Yes, is it clear? Yes, cuando tenemos el did y el didn't, el verbo en infinitivo. Esto ya lo sabemos. Present perfect, que revisamos la clase pasada. Yes. How long have you studied? I have studied for three hours. How long have you um, played football? I have played football for two hours. Is it clear? Yes. So, remember, for, since, Yet, I haven't studied for my test, my test yet, for negative. Have you studied biology, biology yet? Yes, okay. So you use yet for interrogative and negative. Is it clear? This is a revision on the tenses. So for those who uh, didn't remember, para los que tenían eh, errores, ¿sí? para los que estaban flojos en tiempos verbales, present perfect and past simple is here. Yes, okay, is it there? Uh, just, I have just done my homework, I have just finished my corrections, is it clear? Yes, all right, so let's go. Um, have been, how long? Yes, okay. Number two, have spent, yes, okay, complete the questions about the article, yes, okay, um, number three, has created, four, has become, Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Okay, you have seven A, pages two. Pam 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 pam. Exercise two. Okay, I go. Yes, wait a minute. Yes, okay. This was number one. Number one, choose the correct option to complete the text. Ahora voy otra vez, eh? Have been, have spent, has created, has become, five, hasn't survived, six, was, seven, were, eight, made, nine, didn't have, ten, have disappeared. Yes, okay. Number two, ahora sí. One, how long have oil ca 
companies been in the area. Remember to respect how long plus how hours plus subject plus verb. Con la tercera columna, obvio. Más complemento, ¿ok? Siempre doble D, auxiliar, sujeto, verbo. How long have you studied? Yes, ¿ok? Is it clear? How long have all companies, vendría a ser el sujeto, been in the area? Two. How much have they spent in the last decade? Three. What has, has the industry created? What has the industry created? Number four. When was Jim a child here? When was Jim a child here? Respect the order of the questions. How much did people make? How did people make a living? How did people make a living? Number six. Did the area have gas and electricity in the in the 60s? Did, auxiliar, sujeto, the area, yes, have, verbo en infinitivo, porque está el did, esto ya lo sabemos, yes, ok, así que enfatizar. Let's go to page 53. Exercise 5. One, professions, yes, job, receptionist, sales representative, number two. Three, shop assistant. Four, fashion designer. 5. Computer programmer. 6. Police officer. 7. Marketing manager. 6. Boring. Perdón, 6. Dangerous. 2. Boring. 3. Skilled. 3. Skilled. Yes. 4. Physical. Yes. 5. Challenging. Challenging. Is it clear? Number 7. I have taught for 15 years. Two, we haven't flown, acordate de la tercera columna, eh? Since, number three, my brother has run for, R-U-N, tercera columna, R-U-N, four, have grown since, number five, wow, I haven't seen mm -mm, four. My family has lived on the island, on this island, since. Exercise eight. How long have you lived? Since or for? How long have you known your best friend since or for? Well, since uh, 2005 or for 10 years, okay? Number four, how long have you been in your current job since el año 1999 or for 20 years, ok? Entonces tenés que subrayar, highlight the chart, todo chart que vos encuentres lo subrayas y lo lees. We use the past participle been to say someone went somewhere or came back. I've been to London. Yes, ok. He estado. We use the past participle gone to say someone went somewhere, ok? He's gone to London. Se ha ido a Londres, yes, ok? A ver, probamos si te quedó claro. Ha, my boss have lived, perdón, have been to the meeting, yes? She's gone to work. Have you ever been, has estado? I haven't been, I haven't seen Bill today. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? I haven't seen you for ages. Where have you been? ¿Dónde has estado? Okay. Good. Page 54. Page 54. Okay. Number one. Landscape architect. Number two. Environmental cartoonist. In the garden. Yes. Exercise two. Ojo con los readings. Hacelo todo, todo, todo. A conciencia, por favor. Yes, okay. When he was a child, to he or she designs area outside 
with trees and flowers. ¿Por qué designs? Porque te pregunta, what does he do? ¿Qué hace? Yes, he designs. Tienes que conjugar el verbo con ese. He, she, or it. Ese es la tercera persona. Esto ya lo sabemos. A prestar atención. Yes. Three. What kind of job? Um, what kind of job is it? It's creative and highly skilled. Number four. What does he do? Yes, he thinks about his cartoon. She helps with ideas for the dialogues. Six. When does he work until early in the morning? When he has lots of ideas. Number seven, what has his latest book won? Yes, it won a book award. Yes, okay, entonces, um, it has won, yes, a book award. Entonces, fíjate cuando tenés las W question, ¿en qué tiempo está? ¿Qué es lo que nos indica? What do you do? Present simple, el auxiliar. What did you do? El auxiliar pasado. What will you do? El auxiliar will. ¿Qué harás? What are you going to do? ¿Qué vas a hacer? Going to. Yes, ¿Está? Entonces, los tiempos nos van a acompañar desde acá a todos los, a los otros cursos. ¿Ok? Siempre. ¿Ok? Number one. Walk. Prepositional. Preposition of movement. Acordate que están acompañadas de un verbo de movimiento. Caminar. Walk down. Two. Get in. Three. Opposite. On. Five. Next to. Walk across. Fíjate el dibujito como es. Walk across the street. Walk across the corridor. Yes. Quiere decir que vos estás en un lado y tenés que cruzar. Yes. Ok. Good. Number seven. Through. Go through the door. Yes, atravesar. Take the lift up to the 10th floor. Ok. Number 5. One. Canteen. Three. Ground. Six. Exit. Seven. Stairs. Two. Basement. Five, entrance. Nine, corridor. Eight, lift. Repetition. Basement. Five, two, basement. Five, entrance. Nine, corridor. Eight, lift. One, canteen. Four, office. Three, ground. Six, exit. Exit. Seven, stair. Acordate. Todas las palabritas nuevas en el notebook de la A a la Z con número de página donde aparece y un ejemplo que lo tenés que realizar vos solito. Yes, I have to go up. Suponete te pones stairs, lo vas a ubicar en la S, vas a ubicar en qué página apareció y vas a poner un ejemplo, por ejemplo, I go up the stairs to go to my apartment. Yes, uh, that was all. Bye bye activity book. Let's go to, very quickly, two pages from the class book, 88, 89, eh, perdón, 86, 87, 88, and 89, yes, 86, 87, 86, 87, 88, 89, and 90, is it clear? Yes, ok, estudia porque la clase que, 92, perdón. La clase que viene, viene la revision, yes, ok, de la unidad 7. Acordate que no avanzamos, sino que vamos revisando, como siempre, como vos sabés, unidades por unidades. La clase que viene es la última clase y después vienen las holidays. Así que a descansar, a hacer la tareita que va a estar en el, en el cuadernillo, ¿sí? Vas a tener que acercarte a comprar el cuadernillo. Esto es una nota que te voy a mandar hoy, ¿sí? Vas a tener que acercarte a comprar tu cuadernillo donde en la librería Oropel, en la misma que compraste la Short Story, librería fotocopiadora, ¿sí? que está por Jonas Sal, casi Coronel Bogado. ¿Qué vas a encontrar ahí? Vas a encontrar el cuadernillo. ¿sí? Vas a decirle tu curso a, los, a las personas que atienden ahí y le vas a decir que estás en fourth year, cuarto año de secundaria. Porque te vamos a mandar también 
la tapa de lo que es tu cuadernillo para que vos te guíes y digas bien que en qué curso estás, porque si no te van a fotocopiar mal el cuadernillo y para no perder tiempo, ¿sí? Así que más vale, acércate bien, escribile bien a la persona que va a encargar ese cuadernillo, que vaya con todas las cosas, no lo mandes así nomás porque si no va, le vas a mandar y van a ir de paseo nomás, ¿está? Así que conseguir el cuadernillo Sí, rápidamente, porque estos chicos de la librería se van a tomar vacaciones, así que va a estar cerrado y yo no quiero que te quedes sin tu activity book, eh, sin tu cuadernillo, ¿sí? Porque de ahí va a haber tarea para que hagas en las vacaciones, tarea que necesito que, de los contenidos que repases, ¿está? Como siempre, como todos los años, hay tarea del cuadernillo, ¿sí? ¿Ok? Good. De los temas que se dieron, obviamente. Así que... Dicho lo dicho, ya sabes eso. Let's go to page 86. Page 86. Are you there? Yes, 7C. Yes, ok. Make and do. Y tenemos el reading. Aprovecha todos los readings, porque yo no puedo leer por vos. Entonces, tenés que aprovechar todos los readings para subir la nota si estuviste bajo en la parte de lectura, de comprensión lectora. ¿Se entiende? Entonces, todo lo que hacemos... Ya sean los readings del activity book y del class book, más la short story, que es literatura complementaria. ¿Está? ¿Es clear? Bien. Para reforzar la parte de, le de eh, comprensión lectora. ¿Está? Bueno, look at the photo. What is the cowboy? What is a cowboy? Which country is most famous for um, cowboys? Yes, ok. So, um, it's a person who, um, I don't know, who rides horses. It's a person who uh, herds cows. It's a person who wears uh, hats and um, jeans. Yes, okay. It's a person who rides horses, who carry a, bag, a gun. Yes, okay. Well, and where are they famous? Yes, they are famous in, in the USA. Yes. Cowboys, cowboys, cowboys are heroes in American westerns. Have you ever seen a western? Yes, una película del lejano oeste, okay? And they fight against Indians. Yes, Native Americans. Yes. And the USA is most famous for cowboys, cowboys largely. Yes, because of the Hollywood movies and everything, and they, uh, they are cowboys, are uh, cowboys are glamorous. Yes, okay. Well, so we have uh, number two. Read the article. You are going to read the article. Now is the time to stop the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Por supuesto que podés subrayar todo lo que quieras. Yes, qué cosa. El texto. Acre, yes, acres, me measurement of land, como se mide la tierra. Good money, expression meaning a lot of money. Well paid, yes, okay. Middle of nowhere, yes, expression meaning a place for far away. Where are you going to go to live? Do you think it's a good place to live? But it's in the middle of nowhere, yes, okay. Is it clear? No hay nada, en el medio de la nada. Plain, yes. Grassy areas to open land. Plain, yes. Ok, donde están los bosques, todo lo abierto, yes. Por eso te dice grassy area, areas of open land, yes. Donde está todo lo verde, sí, donde no hay casas. Yes, ranch, yes. Large farm for cattle, horses and sheep. Rancho, yes, ok. Yes, cowboys have a ranch, yes, it is very fashionable, yes, and rich people have ranch full of cows, sheep, yes, okay, good. And you are going to do exercises two, three, yes, okay, two, three, is it clear? Five and six, one, two, three, yes, okay, five, yes, and six. Is it clear? Good. So now is the time that you post the video, do the activities and then listen to the answers. Is it clear? Number two, 
one. Yes, how modern cowboys really live and work. Yes, number one, C. Number two, A. Number three, A. Number four, C. Yes, okay. Exercise five. Yes, okay. So you do a job. Siempre que queramos decir hacer un trabajo, no va a ser make, yes, a job, sino va a ser do a job. Entonces, estas frases siempre van pegadas, ¿sí? No se puede cambiar. Is it clear? Yes, okay. Do a job, make breakfast, make a call, no podemos decir do a call, make a call, make money and do something different. So, what I want you to do is, en el de la A a la Z, en tu cuaderno de la A a la Z, si no tenés tu cuaderno de la A a la Z, empezate a preocupar porque después te agarra panic attack. ¿Por qué? No es porque no entendés la clase, no es porque no entendés el método, no es porque el método es el mismo que yo siempre uso. El tema es porque no estás haciendo lo que yo te estoy pidiendo. Entonces, si todavía no tenés tu cuaderno de la A a la Z, hacelo, ¿sí?, y hacerme caso porque si no después se te va a encimar todo y vas a colapsar y vas a buscar culpables y yo no voy a ser la culpable, sino que vas a ser vos el culpable de no estar haciendo las cosas que te voy pidiendo clase a clase. ¿Está? ¿Se entiende? Entonces, hacelo poco a poco porque si no todo junto colapsa tu mente, colapsa vos, te deprimís, te frustras. Y no quiero que te pase eso, ¿está? Entonces vas a hacer un ejemplo con do. Yes, next year, uh, uh, my father has to do a job for his work, yes? Make breakfast. I have to make breakfast for my mother. She's working now, yes? Number three, make a call. Can you wait? I have to make an, infor an important call. Y escribís tu frase. Pones todas las que van con make en la M y todas las que van con do en la D. Y le pones que son unit 7, unit 7, unit 7. ¿Por qué? Porque si vos te pasa algo con eso, vas a ir a la unit 7 para revisar si es que tenías alguna duda. Yes, number 4. Uh, make money. What can I do to make more money? Classes are not enough. Yes? I think I will send some things. Jewelry, for example. Number 7. Yes, make something different. Okay, uh, number seven, make money. Number four, make money. Number five, do something different. Um, next class, I will do something different for you. Yes, I will bring you a clown. He will teach you English. Yes, is it clear? Well, so you have all the things that go with do and all the phrases that go with make. You must study them if you don't know. Alguna la sabemos. Otras no suenan y otras no nos sonaron nunca. Las que no te sonaron nunca, te las estudias de memoria. Number six. One. A ver qué tal fue acá. Do your homework, por ejemplo, ya la sabemos. Make a mistake, también se nombra siempre. Number three. Make a decision. Have you made your decision? Will you continue English or not? Y vos lo podés poner, yo lo, us lo usé ahí en una frase con present perfect. Number four, do. Do someone a favor. Yes, do. Number four, do. Yes, do someone a favor. Can you do me a favor? Please, call an ambulance. Yes, okay. Number five, well at work. Yes, do well at work. Are you doing well at school? Yes, okay. Number six, make your bed. Rodri, can you make your bed, please? Your bedroom is very untidy. This is an example, of course. Yes? Number seven, a noise. Maximo, can you stop making, no stop making noise? The little baby wants to sleep. Yes? Okay? Make noise. Yes? Do work. Josefina, you must do this work for next class. Yes? Is it clear? Yes? All right. Good. Well done. Good, good, good. Well, uh, can we go to uh, page 80, 80, 80, 80, 88? A job interview. 
So I want you to look, yes, I want you to look at the job advert here and answer the question. When does the restaurant need people? Would you apply for this kind of job? Why, why not? Apply for a job. It's pedir el trabajo. It says waiter and kitchen staff to start today. Full time, acordate que tenemos full time job or part time job. The full time job, you work in the morning and in the afternoon. And part time job, you work or in the morning or in the afternoon. Yes, this is a specific vocabulary. Full time job and part time job, okay? Uh, positions available. ¿Qué quiere decir? Available, que están disponibles. Are you available tonight? I want to invite you to my birthday party. Okay, experience is not essential as we will provide training. So, if you haven't got, if you don't have, sorry, if you don't have experience, it doesn't matter. They will give you, yes, they will give you, um, they will you provide, they will provide you training, yes. To apply, come in and speak to the manager, yes, okay, with your CV and contact details, okay. So you have to come in, talk to the manager, but you have to bring your CV. ¿Qué es el CV? El curriculum vitae, que es tu historia de trabajo. A veces poder tener, puedes tener experience o a veces no puedes tener experience because this could be your first job, for example. Y eso es lo que te voy a explicar hoy, cómo redactar un CV, un curriculum vitae. ¿Está? Va a haber ejemplos que voy a proyectar acá y también tenés el ejemplo en la página 89, que es lo que, lo que te digo acá, la guía de cómo hacer un currículum. ¿Está? Hace de cuenta, vos me vas a escribir tu currículum, hace de cuenta que va, estás presentando tu currículum para que yo te tome para trabajar conmigo en esta empresa, en este instituto, ¿está? Entonces tiene que ser perfecto ese currículum, no vas a hacerlo toda la bartola, todo mal. Así que concéntrate, ¿sí? Porque en esto te estoy entrenando para lo que se viene, para tu posible, para tu futura vida laboral. Así que es muy interesante la redacción de un currículum vital, que siempre va um, eh, acompañado por una carta de presentación, que eso no lo vamos a ver, pero lo tenemos el año que viene, ¿sí? Que es, si nos da tiempo, te voy a explicar también cómo se hace una uh, letter of application, y es, lo tenemos el año que viene, pero este año te enseño a hacer un CV. Obviamente, una letter of application va a ser formal, ¿sí? Porque te estás dirigiendo a tu future Boss, okay? Well, so you are going to do exercises uh, one. Except it says, when does the restaurant need people? Okay? Now. Yes? Full time, uh, start to start today. O sea que necesitan gente que empiece hoy. Yes? Okay? Could you apply for this kind of job? Yes, I could apply for any, this kind of job. Not any, but this kind of job. Yes, because I need the money. Yes? Because I am studying at this moment, so working um, part-time, not full-time, because I'm studying in the afternoon, so a part-time job could be suitable, I, I would be suitable for this job, yes, okay? So if you sit, imagine you sit in front of the boss, you enter the place, yes, and you have to bring your CV with you, yes, so you will sit, sit down, and you will talk about you. Okay, so I am not, uh, I haven't got any experience, but I think I'll be suitable, yes, suitable. ¿Qué quiere decir que sos? Que te va este trabajo, suitable. You are suitable, yes, you are the correct person, yes, okay, for this job, because, yes, uh, I'm active, yes, I learn quickly, yes, because, um, I am friendly, so I could uh, work with the team, yes, as soon as you call me. Um, I, I am free in the morning, so a part-time job could be suitable for me, yes, okay, right for me, yes, I learn very quickly, and this is my CV, yes, I haven't got experience, but I read, yes, in the um, advertisement, Yes, it is an advert. Yes, so I read in, maybe the advert, this advert can be in the newspaper, can be online, because nowadays mo most of the adverts are online. Yes, and you will apply for this. Entonces, siempre que te vas a 
presentar, vas a decir todas las cosas positivas que tenés para conseguir. I am free. I learn quickly. Yes. Um, yes, I am the right person for the job. Yes, because I am friendly. Yes. So uh, if you need a waiter, I could also work as a waiter. Yes. Because I am friendly, I like being in contact with people. So I think that it would be the right candidate. Is it clear? ¿Te quedó claro? Entonces, todas estas cosas tienes que practicar vos para hacer de cuenta que te vas a ir a, a postularte. You are going to apply, yes, for this job. Yes, is it clear? All right, so um, I have to say I am the suitable candidate. Yes, que sos el adecuado o la adecuada para este trabajo. Are you ready? So now is the time that you post the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers, okay? Yo voy a las respuestas. Obviamente vos ya sabés esto, son cheat, hacelo. El que va haciendo todo como yo explico, va a ser exitoso. El que no, no va a llegar. ¿Está? Okay, the restaurant needs people today. Um, the reasons for applying include flexible working times, training provided. Te van a dar el entrenamiento. Um, because you, and you don't need experience because they will train you, okay? Good. Um, maybe you will work in a team, yes, okay? Is it clear? Um, I would apply for this job, yes, okay? Because I need the money, yes, to pay for my st studies, yes? Number two, staff positions. Three, essential. Four, provide. Five, apply. You apply for a job. Yes, you apply for a job. Number six, CV. Seven, contact details. Yes, okay. Is it clear? So one, staff. Yes, I think I could work with your staff. There are some words that you need to use, specific vocabulary, yes? Uh, I want to um, apply for the position, yes. Number three, essential, yes. As essential uh, training is not needed, yes, okay. Because you will provide us, yes, the skills, yes. And you apply for a job, A-P-P-L-Y, yes, apply for. Cuando te presentas a pedir trabajo. Let's go to, uh, we are going to listen to a job in, interview now, yes? Yeah? So I want you to pay attention, yes, and be prepared to, um, wait a minute, there we are. B. I had an amazing time with a tour group in Morocco. On the first day, our tour guide showed us round the centre of Marrakesh. First, we went to the square in the middle of the city called the Jamar El Fanar. It's a fascinating place where people sell things. Old men play Unit 9B. I had an amazing time with a tour group in Morocco. On the first day, our tour guide showed us round the centre of... I had an amazing time with a tour group in Morocco. On the first day, our tour guide showed us round the centre of Marrakesh. First, we went to the square in the middle of the city called the Jamar El Fanar. It's a fascinating place where... again. Track 59, Unit 9B. I had an amazing time with a tour group in Morocco. On the first day, our tour guide showed us round the center of Marrakesh. First, we went to the square in the middle of the city called the Jamar El Fanar. 
It's a fascinating place where people sell things. Old men play musical instruments and there are people with snakes. Actually, we were a bit worried about the snakes and moved away when we saw them come towards us on the ground. After a day walking round the city, everyone was tired, so we relaxed at the hotel and ate great food. The next day was exciting because we went by bus up the Atlas Mountains. The views were incredible as we went up, although the bus driver drove too fast for me. I was a bit frightened on some of the high roads, but we safely reached the top and then the road went down to a region of green fields. We finally arrived at a small hotel and I was surprised because it looked ugly on the outside. But after we walked through a large gate, the owners... Yes, uh, this is not the, 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 um, the listening. I'm sorry, I will check again. Yes, it is the track. Yes, but um, wait a minute, can you wait? Yes, it should be an interview. Yes, okay. Track 59, Unit 9B. No, this is 9B. Wait a minute, please. I'm sorry. Track 59, Unit 7D. There we are. I'm sorry. Right. This is the Have interview. a seat, Hanya. Thanks. Pay attention to all the questions that uh, she has to ask, she has to answer in the interview. This is a job interview, una entrevista de trabajo. Muy bien, en casa ya tuvieron... I've looked at your CV and see that you're from Poland. How long have you been in England? I worked here last year to improve my English and then I came back to study fashion this year. I see. So why do you want this job? I have some spare time in the evenings after college and I'd like to earn some extra money. Okay. And last year you worked in another restaurant. What did you like about your last job? Helping the customers and trying to give good service. How did you deal with any difficult situations? At the weekends, we were very busy in the evenings, so sometimes customers had to wait for their food. But I found that most customers are okay if you are friendly and polite. Also, you need to apologize when the food is late. Good. Well, I think that's everything. Uh, do you have any questions for me? Yes. It says in the advert you provide training. Can you give me more information about that? Well, you have lots of experience, so you probably won't need very much. But on your first day, you work with another waiter and learn about the menu and the different kinds of pizza that he cooks. Okay, so um, she's the person who has experience and in the interview, you know, she asked, yes, about information about uh, what train do you give? Yes, you provide, not give, you provide, ask. And he says that on the first day, she's going to be with another waiter or waitress to uh, know about the menu, about uh, the things, yes, as regards uh, the the way they organize themselves okay is it clear so number one do you think uh this is number four do you think uh hania uh, wh why does she do uh this job yes okay why does she want yes this job what do you think yes yes because she needs some money yes because she needs some money yes uh because she's studying at the moment okay 
And then you have to say if it is if she's a good person for the job. Why? Why not? Okay. So let's go to number um, three. Are you there? Good. Number one, true. Yes. Number two, false. Yes. Okay. And what is she studying at the moment? Yeah, she's a start of, a studying fashion. Yes. Number three, false. Um, she has some spare time in the evenings. Yes, in the evenings. Number four, true. Yes. Um, she liked helping uh, the, the, the customers and she says, she thinks that if you apologize and if you are kind to the customers, they, they will wait uh, if the food is not ready yet. Yes, okay. Number five, false. Number six, true. Yes, okay. Um, probably she won't need, the boss said, probably you won't need uh, to be uh, trained because you have experience. But on the first day, you will be with a waiter and a wait waitress to know about uh, uh, the menu. Is it clear? Good. So I want you to go to five. Yes. Okay. Do you think she's a good person for the job? I agree. Yes. I think I, I think she is a good person for the job because she's friendly. She has uh, experience. Yes. And um, I agree that uh, she should be, she should have, I think she should have this job, yes? She can get this job, okay? Number five, yes, okay? You have to listen again and complete the question from the interview, okay? You will re rewind the video and listen again, yes? I will go to the answers. You do it, complete it, and then listen to the answers, okay? So it's the time that you stop the video, okay? Exercise five. How, how long have you been? Two, why do you want this job? Three, what did you like about your last job? How did you deal with any difficult situation? Yeah, situations. Five, 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 do. Yes, do you have any question for me? And six, number six, can you give me more information about that? Yes, and I want you to highlight job interview. Yes, okay, your current life and job. Yes, what are you doing at the moment? Tell me about your actual, this is current, actual job. Yes, reason for applying. Can you tell me why you are applying for this job? Why you have applied? Yes, these are the questions that you are always asked when you, when you uh, are about to, when you apply for a job. Yes, okay. Have you worked in this rest in a restaurant before? What qualifications do you have? Well, I'm friendly. I know how to deal with people. Yes, okay. Uh, I'm good at memorizing menus. Yes, okay. Question for the interviewer. What are your typical what are your typical arts? Can you tell me about can you tell me the salary? Yes. I would like to know about the salary. Yes, okay. And then you have an advert. Yes, you are going to practice, yes, an interview for this job. Yes, this is another um, full-time and part-time uh, positions available. Shop assistant wanted in PC sportswear shop. Experience now, yes, you will ask for, uh, you will apply for the job as a shop assistant in a sports shop. Yes, okay. Experience is not essential, must be friendly, polite and good with people. Friendly, polite, and good with people. Uh, training provide. También te van a dar training. To apply, you have to send your CV and contact details. Contact details in a CV are very important. And this is to practice, okay? So at home, you're going to go. Imagine you are going to go to an interview and you will talk about yourself. Well, um, I'm looking for the job. Yes, I, I am interested in the part-time job because I work, uh, I study in the morning and I'm free in the afternoon. Yes, I haven't got experience, or you can say I have got experience because I have been in a little, I have worked as a shop assistant in a little shop, yes, in a boutique, yes, for example. Um, I was in the cashier too, so I think I could be, a, I could be the suitable person for this position. I am very friendly, 
Yes, I know how to deal with people, mostly with nervous people. Yes, I know how to, um, I can also help the customer to uh, choose the right uh, shoes or the right uh, sweater or the right uh, sport, um, uh, sport clothes for them because I am very good at uh, giving advice, yes. So I think I could be the perfect candidate for this uh, position. Obviously, que te tenés que re eh, adornar when you are looking for the job. Y siempre positive, diciendo todas las cosas positivas sobre vos, ¿ok? Because you want the job, yes, obviously. Si no querés el job, te vas a boicotear totalmente, yes, ok. Well, uh, well, so let's go to page 89 and we'll project, voy a proyectar un CD. Pero primero, I want you to uh, highlight address. Date of birth, education, home, telephone, interest, interests, references, skills, and work experience. Eh, seguime por favor en la página 89, 89. Curriculum vitae. Aldo Peterson. Nationality, Swiss and British. Yes, ok. Vamos a completar. Te voy a dictar para que completes el curriculum vitae. Number one. Obviamente, si dice 17th of September 1992. ¿Qué va a ser eso en el currículum vitae? Entonces, todas estas cosas te tenés que ir. Eh, date of birth. Yes. Number two. Flat, 3A, bla, bla, bla. Address. Well done. Anda diciendo en casa. Number uh, four. Home telephone. Yes. And then you give your mobile because they want your contact details. And in contact details, you are going to write your email address, your telephone number, Yes, and your mobile phone, yes, okay, home telephone, if you have one, of course. Um, then you have education, la parte educativa, yes, y vas a poner todos los datos de tus estudios. Ahí tiene master, yes, catering and hotel management, um, BSc in geography and economics, yes, London University, y el lugar donde hiciste, ves que vas poniendo los años, 2013, 2014, 2013, 2014, 2014, yes, summer, 2013, group tip leader, ¿qué hizo él en ese summer? Plan activity for groups and teenagers, organize the schedule, yes, ok, number six, uh, five, work, entonces, five, work, yes, four, education, entonces vas a poner todo lo que sea lo, tu educación, lo que en, en, eh, envuelve, lo que estudiaste, five, work, experience, Sí, tu experiencia laboral, six skills, yes, languages, languages, English and German, es bilingüe, French, también habla francés, fluent, yes, fluent, uh, written, and, yes, for example, when I need a person here, I put that I need someone who uh, is fluent at written and uh, spoken, spoken and written English, fluent. Yes, ok. Computer, Word, Excel, también maneja Excel, Word, ok. Esas son las skills, las habilidades que él tiene. Yes, ok. And seven, interest. Yes, Captain Locan Hockey Team, did most win to sports, active in student theater production, en todo lo que, todos sus intereses, ok. Eight, references. ¿A quién puedes hablarle? Ok. References, ok, Dr. Gilles, ok, bla, 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 departamento de tal, enseñanza, Alexandra Fulanita de tal, departamento de educación, is it clear? Yes, education department. Entonces, ¿a quién podemos contactar para pedir referencias? Porque las referencias son very, references are very important. Is it clear? Entonces, me seguiste, completan, completaste eso. Y acá viene en el 5 lo que yo te pido as a writing of this class. Write your CV. ¿Está? ¿Dónde te vas a guiar? Acá en esto. And now I will project, pero voy a proyectar a lo último. Si ahora nos vamos, por favor, a la página 92, 92, yes, revision. You will do exercises 1, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Bye, bye, June, hello, July. No sé si dije al principio, pero lo digo de vuelta, ¿ok? Is it clear? Number one, complete, present perfect and past simple. O sea que te vas a tener que estudiar los adverbios de present perfect, todos los que revisé la clase pasada y revisé dando hoy ejemplos, así que no tenés más que irte a la clase pasada, ponerle play si es que no te acordás. No hay excusas ahora, ¿eh? ¿Ok? Recordá que 
lo que cambió acá fue la manera en que yo te hago llegar mi clase. La metodología sigue siendo la misma que yo tengo desde siempre. ¿Ok? Number one, how. How long have you, acordate, now is the time that you pause the video, do the revision and then listen to the answers. No seguido, ¿eh? Si, estás, si no estás haciendo así, lo estás haciendo mal. Number one, how long have you worked? Two, I joined. Three, so have you always wanted? Four, was? Acordate, pasado es algo que se terminó. Number five. Did you study at university? Have you lived? Number six. Have you ever? Acordate que el ever me va a dar la pista que está haciendo una pregunta present verb. Have you ever been in Miami? Have you ever gone to Europe? Have you ever studied French? Alguna vez. Yes. Okay. Esto ya lo dimos. Es repaso. Yes. Number seven. Spent. Yes. Exercise three. Me tienen que hacer... Question with how long y responder since o for. How long have you studied English? I have studied English since 1997. I have studied English for 10 years. Responde de las dos maneras. How long have you uh, corrected your test? I have corrected for three hours. I have corrected since three o'clock. How long have you watched television? I have watched television for three hours. I have watched television since three o'clock. Is it clear? You make the question with how long and you answer with both. Since or for. ¿Está? Por dos horas, desde tal hora. ¿Está? Exercise four. Across. On. Through. Exercise in, perdón, three in, four through, five at, six opposite. Exercise five, does, exercise five, perdón, uh, fashion representative, agregarlo en la parte de vocabulario, perdón, sales representative, fashion designer, yes, ¿Ok? Shop assistant. Reception assistant. Five. ¿Are you there? Computer programmer. Six. Emergency exit. Seven. Marketing manager. Eight. Round floor. Nine. Contact details. Palabras que están formadas por dos. Sales representative. Fashion designer. ¿Te das cuenta? Yes, is it clear? Estudiala, por favor, porque van a aparecer, pueden que aparezcan en el, la revision. Yes, number six. Does. Two. Makes. Completamos con make and do, ¿eh? Ok. Da, do a job. Does a job, en este caso, porque hablamos de él, de la tercera persona. Two. He makes money. You make money. Three. Make food. Yes. He helps to infinitive. For if he does well at college. Yes. If he does. Present simple. Yes. Okay. Es condicional. Number eight. One C. Two A. Two E. Three B. Four A. Five D. Okay. This was the revision. I want you to have a look at the board now. To look at the board. Yes, ok. You uh, imagine you are applying for the position of teacher in the Instituto Reino Unido. Yes, ok. So, write your CV. Yes, and I think you can um, get the job, but according to what you write in your CV. Yes, entonces voy a elegir y después voy a decir con quién me voy a quedar, depende de lo que yo leo en ese CV. Y el 3 minutes video de esta unidad, yes, de esta unidad que, no va, que va a ser después de las holidays, yes, porque 
eh, la clase que viene tenemos revisión, no, tengo un vídeo, tengo uh, voy a pedir un vídeo que no va a ser después, eh, la clase que viene es la última clase, la 6, la anteúltima clase, porque el 8 terminamos, voy a pedir un vídeo y después te voy a hacer la respuesta, porque primero voy a recibir tu CV y después vas a tener que presentarte y me vas a mandar tu entrevista, tu interview por video. Y yo voy a elegir a ver quién, who is the person from this group, from this course, that is the suitable person to work at Instituto, Instituto Reino Unido as a teacher, but according to your CV and according to your interview. Yes, ok, ¿qué tal? ¿Qué te parece? Así que va a estar bueno esto, ¿eh? Ok, bueno, well, um, igual ya tenés ventaja porque sabés que, con qué clase de personas me gusta trabajar a mí, pero vamos a ver, let's, let's, let's see, ¿bien? Vamos a ver qué tal va esa job interview, o sea que va a ser tu primer job interview, ¿ok? ¿Is it clear? Yes, teneme paciencia que la teacher está buscando la projection, yes. Right. thing in your CV, a ver si puedo acercar un poquitito más, yes, ok, bueno vas a leer todo lo que dice ahí, pero la idea es similar al que tenés vos ahí, yes, ok, the most important thing, ¿qué tal ahí, yes, ok, hay muchos ejemplos de currículum vitae en el internet también, eh? en internet, in the internet, el para chose this. Ok, a photo, yes, vos guíate por el que tenés en el libro, yes. A photo, curriculum vitae, yes, ok, and the, no, the name of the person, education, yes, since 1994 until 2000, uh, 1988, um, 1988 and 1994, yes, ok. Then you have the professional experience, your professional experience, Miren qué experiencia laboral tiene esta persona. Yes, entre los años que tiene. Then you have... Um, extracurricular experience. Yes, todo lo que es extracurricular, extra de lo que es el trabajo. President of Study Association, bla, bla, bla. Then um, snowboard instructor. Yes, active member of blah, blah, blah. Yes, honors and awards. Todos los honors and awards que tuvo. Si, si tuvo premios, si fue honored, si, si tuvo alguna medal in his status. Yes, okay. And then you have address. Vieron que esta tiene otra, otra forma de, 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 another way. The structure is different, but the things are the same. Yes, okay. Address. Yes, the photo, telephone, the contact details, email, yes, date of birth, nationalities, language, yes, languages, yes, okay, skills, yes, okay, all the skills, 
then uh, other skills and interests, business, publications, sailings, and everything. Sailing, yes? Is it clear? So, imagine, this is, esta es la consigna, eh? Porque acá te puse escribir un CV. But imagine you are applying a job as a teacher of English in this institution. I'm the boss, yes, okay? And I need uh, some teachers, yes? for my staff, yes, okay, uh, this is a part-time job, yes, not a full-time job, yes, so I'm giving you the instructions, so this is a part-time job, yes, okay, and I need a teacher of English, yes, and um, well, uh, I'm a, I, I am asking for your CVs, okay, I will get all the CVs, and then the next step could be, uh, not now, but then I will give you the homework, Yes, uh, you, will, you will have to um, record a three minutes job interview for working as a teacher of English in, at Instituto Reino Unido. Is it clear? Well, study for the test. Acordate for the revision unit seven. Acordate, remember all the units, all the grammar charts, all the vocabulary. And remember, eh, voy a mandar también notita con la tapa de los cuadernillos que te, del cuadernillo de cuarto año de secundaria que tenés que adquirir. Tenés que ir a encargarlo porque ahí te lo van a fotocopiar, ¿sí? Y eh, tenés que decir bien el nombre también para que los chicos no se confundan ahí. Librería Europea, donde dejamos la short story, eh, te mandamos todo en la notita que te escribimos. Bye, bye. See you next class.